So this question says 27 over 64 to the negative 2 thirds power. The best and fastest way to find this answer is to just throw it into your scientific calculator. Right? We're going to throw it in as is, 27 over 64, then raise that up to the negative 2 thirds power. What I get when I do that is that the answer is 16 over 9, and therefore answer choice J. Now let's say you did not have a scientific calculator, but you had this question to deal with. Let's break down the actual math that's going on here. So 27 over 64 to the negative 2 thirds power. The first thing I would deal with is this negative sign in the exponent. Anytime you have a negative exponent, all you're going to do is write the reciprocal, so this becomes 64 over 27, of the fraction that you had and then raise it to the positive power, right? That negative sign literally means that you should make the, the fraction the reciprocal of the original fraction. Okay, second of all, 2 thirds power is the same, well, before I go there, this 2 thirds power is on the outside of the parentheses, which means it impacts both the numerator, right? So it's 64 to the 2 thirds, and the denominator, so 27 to the 2 thirds. Next, the a fraction exponent is really just a root, right? So a 64 to the 20, or sorry, 64 to the 2 thirds power is the same as 64 squared to the cube root of 64. So hopefully you see where those numbers came from. The 2 here came from the numerator of the 2 thirds fraction, and the 3 here came from the denominator, right? So, um, and then we do the exact same thing for 27. So it would be the cube root of 27. And then I'd say squared, right, separately. All right. So next, the cube root of 64, which I'll use a different color. So right, the cube root of 64 is equal to 4. This is equal to 4. But we still have the squared, right? So it becomes 4 squared. The cube root of 27 is equal to 3, but we still have the squared, right? So cube root, again, just means what number multiplied by itself three times will equal the number under the cube root, right? So 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. That's why 4 is the cube root of 64. And 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. That's why 3 is the cube root of 27. So now that, we, now that we pull those out of the cube roots, we square both, and we get 4 times 4 is 16, and 3 times 3 is 9. And again, that's why 16 ninths is the correct answer.